That's the one. That's the one that got me. He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? G'day, I'm Brent Waller, welcome back to Waller Customs. Today we're going to look at the third in my series of life-size Ghostbuster props made from Lego, the Ecto Goggles. The Ecto Goggles, like the PKE meter in my last video, are used to track and trace ghosts throughout the Ghostbusters universe. They're not quite as used and featured as much as some of the other pieces of equipment in the Ghostbusters universe. Ray uses it in the first movie early on when they go into the Cedric Hotel and find Slimer is. circling around the chandelier in the ballroom scene. And you only really see it in that montage scene in the first movie directly after the ballroom scene where Peter, Ray and Egon are all seen wearing it. Pretty much every Ghostbusters worn it except for Winston. I gotta get my own lawyer. And it seems to appear in Ghostbusters Afterlife briefly. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one. Maybe it's a little bit smaller just to fit that kid's head. <laughs> The actual prop in the movie is based on a pair of US Army night vision goggles, the AN slash PVS 5A night vision goggles, which were first introduced in 1972. And they're not too different from those original goggles. They've made the sort of asymmetrical look to the lenses, where one lens is longer than the other, added a few more details and knobs and gizmos, but apart from that, they're pretty close. So, out of all of the props I've made so far and the ones that are to come, this one's probably the least accurate in terms of dimensions and size because it's the only one I don't actually have a prop for myself to actually compare it to. And the other major inaccuracy, I guess you'd call it, is probably the color. So this matches pretty closely to one of the toys that came out. It's more of a sand green color, but the real thing is more of a dark, darker green, more of a, what Lego would use as an olive green, more of an army green color. And it's mainly because this is the color I had in bulk and even that I barely had enough to be able to pull this off because sand green as the Lego color is called that I've used here is a fairly rare color it's or at least it's rare in my collection I know there's a few big sets that came out with a lot of that color that I don't own but in terms of my collection this is one of the rarer colors and I do have quite a bit of olive green which would have been more suitable but I just didn't have a lot of the slopes and curves that were needed to achieve some of these shapes so apart from like the, the size and the color it's pretty close in terms of the look uh, of the actual Ecto goggles. I'll keep pointing out some of the inaccuracies because they're the things that bug me the most. Some of those being uh, on the lenses here, you've got these little bars that come out, which I couldn't actually, there's no attachment points on some of them. There should be more of these little bars that come out. I'm, I'm not sure if they're little focus dials or something, but in this case, I could only attach one on this one and I couldn't actually attach any on the other side. And the lenses themselves are actually made mostly from wheel hubs from Lego. So I've taken the rubber wheel unit off of it and just left it with the hub of the tire in various colors, the gray and the black, or it's more of a silver color to achieve the look of the lenses. And again, I've used more wheels on the side. This one's a solid hard plastic wheel on both sides as some of the dials and more dials down here, which are just brick built. As you saw at the start of the video, this thing is wearable. I can actually put it on my head and wear it around the place. I would, probably wouldn't trust it terribly much because Lego is not known for its strength in terms of wearability. It's not something you're supposed to be wearing on your body. And the wearability was actually kind of a, a happy accident towards the end. I wasn't planning on making it wearable and didn't think it would be wearable. Uh, but the way I built, the way I, the solution I came up with for the straps, which are using tank treads, Turned out to be stronger than I thought, but not strong enough to wear around and walk around. I can wear it and stand up and move my head, wobble it around a bit, but I wouldn't trust it terribly much to do much more than that. And so you can just pop it on your head and look around. And you can probably be pretty vigorous with it. I don't know how much of an idiot I look like while I was doing that. <laughs> I think that just about wraps it up for the Ecto Goggles. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already checked out the videos for my trap and PKE meter, please do so. And I've also got a couple more coming. This is probably just past halfway of the amount of content I've coming to celebrate Ghostbusters coming out, so keep an eye on the channel very soon. Thanks for watching. That's who you call Ghostbusters!